What's good, people? Welcome back to Remnant Prince. Guys, please give me a like, drop me a comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. So, in this episode, we're going to be discussing Fresh and Fit, Myron and the Gang, and uh, Andrew Tate. And his story he gives in this uh, episode where he talks about how he created his wealth and his empire and the strategies of what he used to make himself successful. Um, I'm going to be giving a breakdown about it and stopping pausing the video to respond and give my take. So um, stay tuned and um, let's get to it. Um, Andrew, you should tell them the story about, because we're talking about I would have kept you both. You should tell them the story about how you started your webcam business no. and you flew the girls in. Wow. Okay, now, now you're dumping me in a, no, this is a long story. <laughs> good story. No, it's a good story. <laughs> I would be intrigued to see what the Not girls would think about that. Unless, <laughs> unless you want the ladies to ask a question of the guys on the panel. No, 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 I want to hear this story. Yeah, 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 let's hear this story. Let's go. Oh, ladies, yeah. I want you guys to imagine yourself in the position of girls. What would you do in this situation? I wouldn't do it. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so let me get some context. If I'm gonna tell the story, I'm gonna do it properly. So and yeah, there's eleven thousand of you guys in here right now, almost twelve thousand. Please like the video, guys. I don't want to stop the show. I lost a bunch of hair follicles dealing with these girls, and I got spit on by a, a big hoe. So guys, I'm probably infected with the hoe virus, so the H virus. So please like the video for us. All right, Andrew. All right, so con some context, right? So I don't, I'm not in the industry anymore, but I used to run a webcam studio like five or six years ago. So you know, like before OnlyFans. I knew existed. it. Andrew is talking about his webcam business that he started before OnlyFans was even interested. So this is quite some time back dating into the old world before it was quite lucrative to uh have a webcam and um make make an income right so yeah just keep listening interesting. listen yeah it's it, it's an interesting story i'll explain how i got there so um now it's a lot more common the idea of only fans webcam that kind of thing but when i was doing it five six seven years ago it was a lot less common right, right? so i was a kickboxer i was four-time world champion but kickboxing is not boxing right we make money but we don't make boxing money so I made maybe a hundred, hundred fifty thousand a fight, which is okay. But you fight two or three times a year. You're not, you've got money, but you're not sponsorships. Bought. Yeah, you make a bit of money. I mean, I'm living in London. My rent's twenty five a month, and I'm, I'm pushing all these nice cars and that. So I'm, I'm making money, but I'm making that much money. A lot of people that went into the fighting industry were people that didn't have much intelligence. They used to be able to take a lot of hits. Put it like that. People that could hit well became legendary, like Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, just to name a few, even Lennox Lewis. So uh, a lot of people that join these fight clubs, they're not people that really have talent or really much intelligence. They're just trying to make a quick buck. And you can tell that it's true because if you listen to what Andrew here says about his financial investments. I mean, we're talking about sitting at a crap table, playing dice or gambling. That's not how successful business is run. Long story short, I invested in this place in Thailand, this property, which I still have now, which is not worth anything because of this virus and they closed the country, blah, blah, blah. And I needed to pay, I think it was like 400 grand and I had a payment date and I paid 300 grand and I was, I had to pay the last hundred grand. I only had 70 grand. Now, I, I, I was 30 grand short, right? And I thought, I said to Tristan, I said, you know what? When's the last time I got lucky, lucky? And he's like, don't do it. It's like, bro, don't trust the big G. I'm going to go to the casino with this 70. I'm going to turn it into 100 because we have like a few days. We've got to pay this bill. And he's like, don't do it. I was like, bro, it's a big brother. Relax. So I went to the casino and lost all the money. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No. All of it. I got Zero. Right. I got right. And you know what? I was, I was, I was, I was driving there, right? I'm driving to the casino in the BMW, and I'm like googling, doing the math. Like, okay, blackjack has the best statistical odds. Roulette has a 2.7 percent no. advantage. Blackjack has the best advantage. I memorized the best blackjack theory based on the the other card they have showing in my card. Whether you hit stick, I memorized the best theory to get the best possible statistical odds. I wasn't even playing emotionally. I was playing by statistics and got wrecked. So I lost all the money. I came home to tea. Lost all the money that uh, we don't argue because we're brothers. We don't. We refuse to argue. So he's like, "I told you." He's like, "Yeah." Okay. <laughs> like, now we're really in trouble. When was that? Yeah. So and this is in London. 
This is in London, right? So uh, I through I don't know how much I can say on YouTube, but through kickboxing and through fighting, you know, you know a lot of dodgy people, a lot of bad guys. It's kind of one of them industries, right? So see, this just gives credence and testament to the type of people that join these types of careers and don't really have long lasting like legacies to tell after the fact they sort of become you know nobodies or somebody else's right so i mean right out of his own mouth he's letting you know the type of people that he's involved with and that this career path involves right this is my point these to me are low hanging fruit type of men i had some friends so i could hit up for 100 grand so i hit them up but these are guys you have to pay back right so i pay the, i make the payment blah 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 and then i needed money fast and to make i'm trying to shorten the story because i don't want to go on too long but i needed money fast and i said to tristan look i owe us 70 grand so I'm going to lock myself in my room and I'm not going to leave till I've made it. And this is, this is a long time ago now. So this is maybe 10 years ago. Think about 10 years ago. There was no Twitter, no Instagram, Facebook, a bit, MySpace. Oh, yeah. This is the beginning of oh, the internet. Like God. the idea of making money online now is so common. But back then you didn't know all these in entrepreneurs selling stuff and Instagram, none of that. I didn't know anybody who made money on the internet, but I was determined to find a way to make money on the internet. Low hanging fruit. This is my point, right? So Kevin here decides that he's going to make money on the internet because what happened was he had it in for some criminal gangster underworld types that he loaned money from, which are really called loan sharks, right? Trying to get that quick buck almost landed him in the grave. So now he now taking advantage of uh, the economic environment 10 years ago, right? This is a long time ago. This is before the internet world had manifested, right? I mean, internet was here, but it wasn't, social media was not what it is today. So a lot of avenues like OnlyFans or, you know, um, these uh, webcam sites, they didn't exist. The income didn't exist. So you have people who were like the founders of what we have today. And this is why I've made this video because Kevin Tate brags about this. He brags that he's one of the founding fathers of this OnlyFans world, right? Well, I want you to take a good look at the type of men that you all have worshipped because they have got the bag, right? Well, let's stay tuned and find out how they got the bag. Right? Technically, you needed 100 grand. Yeah, well, <laughs> exactly. I needed, I needed 150. So, um, so I said to Tristan, look, I'm going to make some money. I'm going to work out house. So Tristan's like, yeah, whatever. So I'm sitting in my room all day, you know, fasting, meditation, all this yoga fire crap, sitting there thinking, I need to find a way to make money. And I start Googling up what money is. And it's actually interesting how the world works because now I've made a whole bunch of money outside of kickboxing. And all the lessons I learned back then now apply. Because I understood the banking system. I understood how money works. I understand fractional reserve banking. I understand all these things, quantitative easing. I understand how it's all a lie. Money's fake. It isn't even tied to anything. The gold standard's gone. Inflation's here. And the common man's getting wrecked in real time. So I actually learned a lot about how money works. And then I got really angry because I learned how money works. And I still didn't have any. So now I'm really <laughs> pissed, right? I'm like, oh, so money's a scam. And I ain't got none. You know, there it is right out of the horse's mouth. He had no money. See that? You know, it's crazy what I see, what type of desperation it takes for a man to do the things that he does. You know, it's crazy, man. Desperation for money will take you to hell. Right? And that's what these type of men are like. These low-hanging fruits. They're desperate for money. All right, so I was really angry anyway. So I was watching this YouTube video and I had to write, and they were talking about liabilities, assets, the difference between having an asset, liability, blah, blah, blah. And I started writing down my assets. I was like, okay, I got a couple cars, got a house, 
I'm big and strong, but I'm already fighting. I don't know how else to use it. Da, 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 da. And what I had was, and please, ladies, don't attack me. But through my kickboxing career, because I traveled the world, what I would do is I'd fly around the world and I'd, I'd win a world title or I'd win a kickboxing fight. And then I'd, I'd be with one of the ring girls for a week or whatever. So I had all these girlfriends all around the world. I'm and a then, ring girl. And, um, so Kevin here is at his low, right? You see, he, he mentions he's doing the fighting. He doesn't know how else to use it. That's because he has no legend, right? He has all of this experience, but not enough intelligence to turn it into wealth, right? So he's looking at the women that he attracted from winning a few fights, right? Because that's what this world's about, winners and losers, yeah? Because this world is from Satan. So let me tell you something. Kevin here realized he could turn those women into assets. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let him tell it himself, right? But ultimately, he knew he was down bad with a mafia. He owed the mafia money. He just said it. Replay the clip. He just said it. Low hanging fruit. And uh, <laughs> you've been a ring girl? Yeah, you can see it on my YouTube channel. Like, if you win, nice to meet you. Damn. <laughs> if you win, you get a ring girl. If you lose, you get nothing. Yeah. But um, but so they all thought I was the big G, right? I'm in London. I'm the world champ. That little do they know I have a mafia debt now. So uh, <laughs> so I had all these girlfriends all around the world, whatever, whatever. And by coincidence, I, I was talk. I wrote them. I didn't write them down, but I thought of them. Well, that's something I kind of have. And I was talking to Tristan and we were talking about how we, we literally were talking about how we'd never open a strip club. Mm. So we're never gonna open a strip club because it costs too much to set up. It's too much mm. to invest. We need to make money. We don't have any money. So that's stupid. Anyway, and by coincidence, and I was never one of those guys. And I will say this now on webcam, I was on the, on the, on the live thing. Mm. I was never, and I never have been one of them porn guys. I don't go on porn sites. I don't do none of them shit. I never, never have, cause I've never needed to. Right. Never been interested. By coincidence, I was on some website. I think it was a gaming website, some not top or some crap. And in the corner it said, talk to live girls now. Mm. And it's something I think it's because I just thought about the fact that I had all these girls. I was like, so I clicked on it and I saw some Russian chicks sitting there on some crappy webcam and like these little tokens coming in. I was like, OK, so maybe I could get. <laughs> and there it is. The moment that Kevin Tate realized that he could whore women out online he used to be a pimp right so this guy he knows how to manage women whores right so he he's watching the story he gives here is he's watching this video he's shit broke and he's locked himself in a room because he needs to figure out how he's gonna pay this mafia debt and this infomercial comes on with a woman sitting there saying talk to me live right i don't know if anyone really remembers this but you'd have to be a little bit older sort of like babe station or um hbo you used to see these women that would be on late night and you could call in and talk to them right that was a long time ago way before only fans or any of these webcams before they were even built. So Kevin Tate was alive in that time and he saw how he could be prosperous by whoring women out. I'm gonna let him finish the story. <laughs> now you see, you see the wheels turning. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sitting there going, I love the hat. So, I, can confirm that was my I love that hat. That was my system. I can confirm. That was my system. <laughs> So, so I was like, this this bitch is making money. She ain't even hot. And she's just sitting there. And this is, remember, this is the early days of the internet, like dial up. Like she was sitting there, like with her clothes on, like moving like this. Like just <laughs> I was mad. like, that makes money? That makes money? So I messaged all my girlfriends. I have five of them. I was like, look, you're, you're moving to London. I've decided we need to be together. You're coming to London, blah, blah. So he realizes how he could use his five girlfriends, right? Or these ring ladies that he met during his travels. So he calls them up and tells all five of them, you're moving to London, come to London. I've decided that we will be together, right? 
So he starts out with a lie. Didn't even catch that. They go on a lot. I have nothing to do in London. I said, don't worry, I got a job for you, baby. It's going to be fine. You're going to come work for me. And I was sitting there for a while thinking, how do I organize the fact that these five girls are coming in thinking they're my girlfriend? And I, I want them all to do this job. And I decided that honesty is always the best policy. <laughs> exactly. And I also decided that I'm not a coward. And I also decided that if all five of these chicks attacked me at once, I've got the Aikido. I can deal with it. <laughs> you understand? I've been around the block. At least two of them are going to be I've been, I've been around the block, right? I, like, I don't want to take them out, but I could. So he's had to figure out how, after he's lied to them, got them in the country, how he's then going to decide to now tell them the truth, right? Because you have to get people to be workable, agreeable. So to, to that degree, you got to kind of give them some truth, right? So he's saying here, he's bragging how he's got the Aikido to fight these women if they was to gang up on them. Well, I mean, I'm not being funny, but these, these are the type of men that hit their women because they're so desperate. They don't have much intelligence. They don't have much skill. So what happens is they get frustrated and they take it out on people that they can take it out on. He's a fighter, right? Not much of a fighter, but he's been in fights. So that's the first thing he'll resort to because you know why? Doesn't have much intelligence. So he's going to sit here and tell us, the world, on a podcast, on Fresh and Fit's channel, how he's got the Aikido to beat women up. And everyone's okay with that, right? Why? Because it's all rich and wealthy. Low-hanging fruit. These are the standards you have set, so these are the standards you will live by. A man like this has come to whore your children, whore your daughters. And that's why we live in the world that we live in today, with OnlyFans. Let's keep listening. So they ain't got hands. So I ain't got much to worry about. So I flew all five of them in on separate flights. I sat them all down at the same table and said, listen, ladies. This is what we're going to do. And I talked about the webcam business, talked about how I've been with them all, asked them all to come to London, etc. Three of them told me to get fucked, go back on a plane. Two of them stayed. See, and this is what I'm talking about. Once the truth was presented, they left. Because the truth is, women predominantly don't want to be whores. I mean, we're not talking about today, right? We're talking about a good 15 years ago. That's what women were like. Women were traditional for the most part. So you couldn't approach a woman and say to her, you know, you're going to do this and you're going to do that in the namesake of money. I mean, a woman would just look at you like, well, you're not a man, right? Because that's what a man is for, to provide, right? So it's a bit weird when a man will use a woman to provide. I don't know, but you guys give the glory. So maybe that's what this world desired. And the two who stayed worked for me for a very long time. And from there, for the, about the next four years, it built into an empire where I ended up having 75 girls, five locations. I was turning over $4 million a month. And it all wow. kind of it went crazy from there. And uh, yeah, that's, so that's the story yeah, the of the welcome, webcam business. Welcome. That's kind of what it is. And that's one of the reasons why I retired. I, I'm back now because I'm, I'm a violent individual by nature. But um, <laughs> I, I retired from fighting because I started to make a whole bunch of money. And then it got more mainstream and I bowed out of it. About four or five years ago, we sold all our interests and we're not in that business anymore. But that's how it all worked. That's all it went. So that's how it head to toe. But I was just honest about it. and thing. But I actually had a lot of respect for those two girls who stayed. I had a lot of respect to them. It was me and these two chicks. We were living in an apartment. We were a happy throuple for a while. Don't and when forget, they... Don't forget, my, my girls were making us money too. Don't forget that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, you think I was just what? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting with my feet up being like, well, you lost all the money in the casino. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. I, I was doing the exact same thing, yeah. just for the record. So but, the webcam had you and the other girls. No, 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 no. It was just the girls. Oh, it was just the girls. I was okay. just the manager. And you know what's actually really interesting? You were the pimp. I was the pimp. Yeah. And we can talk about <laughs> and we can talk about pimping as a whole. Still? Because because we can talk about pimping because pimping has a very bad has a very bad name. Yeah. Yeah. And I really Fact. I genuinely believe that pimping, if it's done correctly, is not a negative thing. And I think that overall, if you're a pimp, you're a positively inspirational and motivating person. A pimp. A pimp. <laughs> Fresh and fit, right? Fresh and fit, right? Interview a pimp, right? 
And, you know, this people are crying and complaining in the streets and women are dying alone, right? Because this is what we are worshipping. It's money and it's all of this evil behavior that somehow majority of the people love, right? But guess what? Look at Myron's hair, right? <laughs> Look at Kate's younger brother was Tate, right? Wants to be like Tate. Like, this is all to me just low-hanging fruit, man. I don't care how rich they are. I don't care how much money they have. I don't care what type of values other people hold for themselves, right? Because at the end of the day, if your values and standards aren't in the right place, then you really are just a waste. And I think everyone realizes that. You know, we've gotten to where we had men who gave their life to fight in armies and wars, right? To win champs, uh, medals and respect and earn respect and stuff like that. To now being pimps, rich pimps. <laughs> the Bible says, do not cause thyself to whore thine own daughters, right? Well... We have done it. Well done, Tate. Well done. Because now, all there is to date are whores. And you're going to tell me being a pimp is a good thing. There's nothing positive about being a pimp. If that's the standard of success, I'll never be successful. But anyway, stay tuned. And that is your that is your that is your job, right? And 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 I want to say this because everyone no, break always it down, break it down. So I will break it down. Wait, he's gonna, I'm gonna break it down, pimping. I'm gonna break it down, pimping. Because people are sitting there saying, "Well, why does the girl work for you? Why wouldn't she work for herself?" And I'll tell you why. Because the girl who works for herself doesn't make any fucking money. You That's, have the opportunities. Th it's not even just a girl, a girl can make a girl can make three thousand a month for herself or fifty thousand a month, fifty fifty with you. And the difference between men and women are a few things. But women are, once again, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but women, if they find a way to make money, they make enough to make money to pay the bills and then they go party. Whereas a man goes, oh, we found a way to make money. Let's never sleep again and make money forever. So we have a different mentality towards money. That's the first thing. Second sure. thing is we can provide emotional support. It's not easy to be a webcam chick and get no tips, right? So if a girl would log in and no one would send her any money, she'd be upset. Mm. But she could come to me, the pimp, and I'd be like, baby, oh, that's because there's a big football game. There's some football game on. It's not your fault. Everyone did shit today. No, I'm lying through my teeth. <laughs> you know, the Bible says that Satan had the most beautifulest voice, countenance, his wings. Everything about him was created the best, right? He was God's favorite son. And, you know, Satan became the ruler of this world. And people don't realize that Satan will appear unto you as a beautiful man or a woman. He's not going to look dusty, mate. He's not going to look lacking. He ain't going to be in lack. This guy or woman is going to be like your dream, right? Because the Bible says that he is the great deceiver. So I don't understand how people... It's just shocking how people don't believe that Satan exists or the spirit exists. Because here is Kevin Tate and you can see what he's all about. This guy is about lies corruption you know whoring he's just like come on who wants to be like kevin tate for kevin tate right most guys want to be kevin tate because of what he has and those guys to be real they're, they're the type of men no woman wants no woman wants you because you know why you want to be like something else that ain't even worth anything. So, you know, I don't know.
Our other girls killed her. Liar. <laughs> but she feels better. Now she's happy again. Now she'll try again. She'll go back with her renewed courage and she'll make it, right? If she's by herself, she's like, oh, no one likes me. Fuck this. And she'll quit. You'll see even now with OnlyFans, the best, biggest OnlyFans girls that exist in the world today are working for agencies run by men. Any yeah. girl who's independent makes a couple thousand here and there, blah, blah, blah. They ain't making big money. The girls who are making big, big, big money, a man comes along and says, here's your photo sets. Here's what you're doing today. Here's your schedule. Boom, boom, boom. I don't worry. I got five people in your account pretending to be you. Go Four of your sugar daddies are online. Bang, 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 bang. Money. It's a business. We, I was straight business about it. I was not involved in this business trying to be Dan Bilzerian. It was all money. Of the 75 girls who worked for me, it was money, money, money. I had zero interest in trying to fucking fuck them all or run around, have threesomes, none of that shit. It was pure business. That's why we made so much money. But pimps have a very, very important role in the whole industry. I'm telling you. And overall, all we do is provide motivational support. The idea that you can convince a girl to do something she doesn't want to do and make her do it en masse every day, four years by force is bullshit. I can't come along to you and make you do something you don't want to do. No, all. all I can do is make it comfortable and make you realize it's worthwhile and financially reward you. I had a business that offered girls a job, the same as McDonald's does, the same as an office does. Sit on the computer and make some money. That's all it was. So I'm, I'm here to defend the pimps. <laughs> all right? Because we're not bad. I'm, I'm a feminist. I made a bunch of chicks rich. No, there I, ain't a man out there who made a girl who paid a girl more money than me. No, between me and you, we made four girls millionaires before OnlyFans existed. Damn. So yeah. when, it, when OnlyFans when OnlyFans was first launched, I don't know who this crazy drunk bitch who's sitting at Andrew's seat now <laughs> is. But let me tell you, OnlyFans follow 430 people on Instagram. I'm one of them. Because I Bam. started when I was still in the industry, I was running a huge OnlyFans, uh, the management company. Mm. So they know who I am. They probably don't know who this girl is. <laughs> yeah. you know? OnlyFans is a so, British company. Oh, yeah, indeed. indeed. Is. And they, oh, they know who know I am. That. That's why they follow me. You could check this out right now. You know, <laughs> call me a liar. So that's the story. And this is another thing. I'll make one more point. We, a lot of men talk about how bad it is a girl has OnlyFans, et cetera, et cetera. I know some bad bitches, right? Some beautiful women who have an OnlyFans account. And her man is running it, and they're making money, and they're yes. they're in the yes. they're in the Maldives. Yes. They're they're pushing Lambos. Like I have I when I see a girl with an OnlyFans account, and I know she has a lot of money, I don't think ho. I think ah, she's married. Happy they're, relationship. They're see, like I said, these are the type of low hanging fruit men that set the standards for OnlyFans to come in and have its own platform. See. You heard it himself. They built the whole industry that you are dealing with today, man. The reason why so many women are whores now. Thank Kevin Tate, OnlyFans, and his little brother. Did you notice what he did there? Because when... We put men like this at the forefront of society and then say that they are high value. Then what happens is we subscribe to everything they say. He just redefined marriage. You see that? By taking women who are whores, putting them on OnlyFans, managing them is now the new definition of a successful marriage. <laughs> well done, Kevin. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> this is good. Man is actually taking their She's pictures. Smart. Yeah, for and, sure. And taking their videos. 100%. 100%. And they've been together for years. And Andrew, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you inspired me. Yeah. To do something behind the scenes. Uh -oh. I won't say what it is yet. Uh oh. But I'm currently doing it right now. I'll bring it to light soon. All right. But thank you, Andrew. Right, thank, cool. thank you, thank you, Tristan. Start doing porn. <laughs> me. No, 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 that. Get the monster out. Fresh, are you gonna start fighting? Huh? Are you gonna start fighting? No, I mean with girls. Like, <laughs> never mind. Let's start doing porn. Right. I'm no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, and I'm your go-to man. Any questions you got, just just message me. Thank anytime. you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no, I, I, I know this. I know this. <laughs> Very so, well. So, ladies, what, what are your what's what's your take on that? Number one, in that position, what have you stayed if you flew you in and you saw the other girls there? And then number two, what are your thoughts on pimping? <laughs> we'll start here. <laughs> now all the girls are like, whoa, that story was long. What? <laughs> no. Um, would you have stayed or would you have left me in my hour of need? Or would you have stayed by your man and realized if you work together, you can be a team? Which one is it? Say it into the microphone. But don't think about him right now. No, think about think the, man, about the man you've loved most in your life. Yeah, that, no, that, that, I, that, I think about that's yeah. happened to me right now. Everything that you're talking is happening in my life right now. I'm oh, well, listen. I, I, 
I'll, I'll make you more money than he will. So let's just exchange details after this. You know, I'll make, I'll make you an OnlyFans superstar. So he, he probably doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> no, I, everything that you say is like getting into me because I have a manager and he's talking about all, start doing all the stuff. And I'm considering my mind if I should, if I shouldn't do it because of how I feel, you know? So I'm just listening to what you're saying. That is true. There we go. The OnlyFans, 522 followers, and they're, they're so, all following Tristan so, Tate right there. I, 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 a manager of what? Tate. And I bet they don't follow your manager. So, you know, let, let, <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. What, about, what, about, what are your thoughts, uh, Miss uh, Ring Girl? Um... She's looking at me with a little bit little bit of anger. <laughs> don't, don't get angry. Yeah, you know what it is? Some big strong fire one day romanced her after a show <laughs> and it broke her heart. And she's now seeing his face <laughs> attached to your body, thinking, <laughs> fuck this guy. That's what's happening. Right? True or false? At least give me a true or false. I mean, I like his energy. He's telling the truth and like you I like that. that. Yeah, I do respect that. But um about the whole pimp thing. Mm. <laughs> I don't see. I, mean, I, I was a, I am a bottle girl, but one time this guy had the audacity to tell me, "Hey, um, let me get your body done for you." Blah blah blah. I'm just like, no, I don't <laughs> want you to own penny. my body. Like, sorry, like I just no. I'm sorry. I can buy it myself. Okay. I'm just Good a natural you. girl for me. But, the okay. audacity. Um, I mean, yes, the audacity. What the? That was Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Chris back there. Okay. Um. All right. So, what about you? What are your thoughts? Honestly, I don't even know because I get it. <laughs> like, I get it. He needs help. But I don't know if I want to compromise myself and how I'm feeling to help the guy out. You know what, Ailis, as well. Where I, draw the line. I understand that. But let me, let me, let me give a little bit more context. I'd rather yeah. finesse on my it, own. It's not to help the guy. It's to help you. No, no, Sorry. No, fin no, finesse on your own didn't exist not back then. Oh. See? Did you notice that there? Kevin Tate's younger, overzealous brother just revealed that back then there was no flexing on your own because you know why? The powerful truth was women needed men. They still do, but the illusion has covered the eyes. So now in this situation, women don't realize how the world used to be before low hanging fruit men such as Kevin Tate came and paved the way for them to whore themselves out and make their own money, right? I don't have no problem with women making their own money. I just believe that there has to be a standard that we should live by as human beings. I mean, what would we have words like humanity for, humanitarian, right? I mean, I certainly would hate to entertain the word righteousness and divinity, but at the end of the day, you have these behaviors of low hanging fruit that's really degenerate. And this is why the world has entered into a state of degeneracy. And also it's ruled by wealthy degenerates who continue the state of permanent degeneracy. So round of applause, guys. Let's keep listening. Finesse on your own, own platform. Finesse on your own, exist. Finesse on doesn't exist now. It's because it's, it's, it's small, it's small money. I'm talking about big money. And this back, is prior to OnlyFans, ladies. And, and, and back oh, then, okay. and back then, it wasn't really compromising yourself. Like I said, it's like rubbish cameras. It, was, it wasn't really a thing. That's it, the first thing. People wouldn't find you like on these people obscure websites. Find you. you didn't have Instagram. Like it was all that. And, and secondly, I didn't really approach it from a position of I need help. I don't. There's nothing in my life that I approach from a position of weakness. You know. This is where, you know, you got to call people on their bullshit, right? Because Kevin says he doesn't approach anything from a position of weakness. So you're flat broke. You've called five women to come and live with you that you lied to. Two of them left. Two of them stayed or three or however many. And you're basically telling them what they need to do so that you can make money, right? See, this is the problem. I'm not a wordsmith or a wordsman, but the Bible does say, right, out of the mouth comes an abundance of the heart. So I think that what you really have is like people try to tell you what they want you to hear or know. But really, if you're wise, 
you can hear the truth that they're actually telling you. Because what I hear is pure weakness. I mean, a real man doesn't depend on anything but himself. A real man is independent, not out dependent, right? So uh, when you, as a man, are going to have to get women who, 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 who are going to work for you or work with you, right? Because they're not exactly working for you because you don't have the resources yet to be able to pay them, right? So now you're really taking from their wage or their earnings to build an establishment, right? Well, that is a position of weakness, if you ask me. Maybe that's why those other two women left, because they knew that. I don't know. I'm just saying. To me, this is BS. I don't approach things from weakness, right? You can, you can put a gun to my head. I'm not going to approach it from weakness. I approach it from strength. So I wasn't sitting there going, baby, please help. I need money. No, no. I was like, listen, I'm your man, so you're going to do as I say, and we're going to run an <laughs> empire. We're going to get rich, rich. What's the, the stupid... percentage you took from them? All of it. <laughs> oh my god. Well, why would they need why would they need money? I need money. What are you talking about how them need money? Oh, they live they live Oh my god. Listen, they lived, I love it. They lived with me. They get to live in a nice You're big so house. Honest. I love it. They live to give in a nice big house. I took care of them in every way. And one <laughs> once 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 they worked for me for a few years, I looked after them. And what and when they retired, I gave I'll tell you the truth. When, when they retired, I gave one of them across her career, she worked for seven years and she made five and a half million dollars. And when she retired, I gave her a million dollars clean. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, an asshole guy. But at the beginning of it all, it was like, look, you live here. You do as I say. I'll take care of you. This is what we're going to do. It wasn't about money for them. I wasn't sitting there trying to pitch them some business proposal. I wasn't approaching it from weakness. I was like, look, you're my girl. I want you here. You're going to do this. What are you doing over there? Going to school? You ain't going to make you rich. You're my girl to five girls at the same time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I, I didn't want to lie. I didn't want to lie. Uh, but, but I didn't see the point in lying to them all, put them in different houses, running around like a creep. Yeah. Like, I, I just thought, let me approach it with honesty. And I knew, I knew that. I knew the nature. The reason I did that is because I knew the nature of Earth is that if all five left, one would come back because that's how things work, right? right? So I knew I'd end up with one at least. So I thought, well, let me let's see. And I got two, so it all worked. Wow, out. Well, I was thinking two at least. Yeah, well, I did okay. Yeah, I did okay. I got two. two. Out of five, yeah. Three and and the three who left, I think they regret it because they're still broke. So. <laughs> Uh, and far less attractive a, a decade is a long time a decade yeah. is a long this time is a, this is a long time ago remember 10 years the world was a different place the internet yeah, was a different was. place everything was a different place these girls had no chance of getting caught found nothing there was no none of the things you have to completely imagine i know i'm an old man i don't know how old you, you girls are but mm -hmm. 10 years ago you had myspace that was it it wasn't yeah. like it yeah. wasn't like today yeah. Yeah. MySpace at top I five mean, now that you put it like that i don't think i would do it i no? guess it's just not what i want fair enough and that's okay. i respect that yeah. i respect that no. All right. What about you? Good no. You. What was the question? Uh, <laughs> would you stay? Would you stay when when he brought you in and flew you in and he tells you there's five other girls there? You thought they're only girl. Hey, we're gonna build an empire. You're gonna help me with this wife. Oh yeah, of course. You would have stayed. Because what's the worst thing that could happen? Back in the day, like you were saying, you were basically anonymous on the internet. Yeah. I could say that I was freaking Jeff Bezos, and you yeah. know, you would believe it because there was no yeah. way to verify those kinds of things. Yeah. So yes, I would take a chance on making a mill. High five. Boom. See, there you go. Ride or die. That's what it is. About. I That's would take a chance. That's what it's about. And he it's not like he was gonna stop talking to them if I said no. True. Absolutely. It's not like he was gonna true. stop talking to the four other girls if I said no. Yep, it's true. The three girls, you know what's funny about human nature? The three girls who left were so angry at the two who stayed. They messaged the two who stayed for years. <laughs> leave him, oh, for years? leave him, leave him. They couldn't no stand way. that these girls are now in the Maldives. These girls are with me in Saint Tropez. They couldn't stand it. They were furious. Why don't you leave him? The, they, they, I, I blocked things. them long ago, right? But they couldn't sleep at night knowing that these girls were enjoying their life. <laughs> they couldn't stand it. It's they were crazy. just jealous. They were jealous. Yeah, they were jealous. That's what it was. What about you? Miss um, independent. I have no problem with <laughs> webcam people and what they do, but I've never been a fan of Thank you. just showing my body or <laughs> having any proof for my future children to just pull up or be at school and some be like, look at your mama with her legs wide open. I'm good on that, but I'll support anyone else wanting to do it. I would probably fuck him and then just go back home. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Wow. One last spin. <laughs> <laughs> One last, last roll of the dice. Why not? Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i have it i have uh okay well it's a complicated question I'm it sure. is it is kind of a complicated question i would say that um as somebody that was seeing you i wouldn't like for you to look at me as a business 
rather than as the girl that you're seeing. Yeah. Um, so that would be kind of hard for me. Yep. But I will say that as a ring girl, if I if you fought and I am sleeping with you, I'm probably not the type to like want something more with you. So if you would have mm, let me see if I'm explaining it right. Like um, female logic at work here. Yeah. <laughs> She's insulting all of your girlfriends. <laughs> no, I'm trying to process all my thoughts. If if I'm the type of girl to sleep with a fighter yep. after they've fought, yep. then I'm probably the type of girl to be on webcam. Okay. That's fair. That's so valid. I would probably say yes. If I saw you in a different way, yeah. Remember, this I wouldn't, is the man that you love. Any, bur- any, any you girl love. can okay, be a webcam okay. girl, honestly. Exactly. So, but if I saw and not any ring girl is like that. True. No, no, no. But he's talking about those ring Fox. girls. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm saying from them. Out of five girls, if he fought and then he hooked up with one of the girls right away, that's you're probably looking for something quick, fun, all of these things. So yeah, I would probably be a webcam girl as well. But now, if I'm looking for if if like how you said, I'm in love with you or I'm looking for something more with you, I don't want you to see me as a business. And this is exactly the best way it could have been said because. This is what's going on. If you listen to this interview <clears throat> or this podcast, most of these women here, they don't care, right? They, they, they want the money. You know, they want the lifestyle. They want, you know, they want the fun. And that's because they're young, right? When you're in your 20s, you know, life is just like a, a flash, right? And when you get older, you start to realize that, you know, you have to be wiser, right? So they can say whatever. But here you have one girl who is more conscious, you know, and she realized what's going on and she doesn't approve, right? So she says to him, I I want, I don't want to be seen as a business. You know, if I'm, if I'm with you because, you know, you're my man, then I don't want my man to see me as a business. So she basically calls him on the fact that she doesn't want to be a whore to her man, for her man. But at the end of the day, when you're with a pimp, this is what you get, right? And now she's here in this day and age crying out for a man. But all she can see is a rich, wealthy pimp. Who wants that? I don't know. Maybe you do. I want you to see me as like the girl that's going to be like next to you, helping you grow, but not like that guys thanks for tuning in please give me a like please let me know in the comments what you think about this video and what do you think we're going next and um if you enjoyed this video or saw anything that you liked a subscription would be appreciated thank you until next time remnant prince